Meissen is a town in Germany that has 30,000 inhabitants and a form of porcelain named after it. But why am I telling you this? Well, Meissen is actually a hidden nation in EU4 that you can form if you follow the steps I'll show you in this video. It's got a beautiful colour and genuinely one of my favourite flags in the game. After forming Meissen from Saxony, you can go on and form Prussia and then Germany. Or if you're a sick bastard that moonlights as a masochist, you can form Saxony again for some reason. But speaking of sick bastards, around 70% of you watching this right now aren't subscribed. Wow, that was a harsh segue. But I stand by it. We're trying to hit 60,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you wouldn't mind liking this video and subscribing, you'll get us that little bit closer and we'd really appreciate it. Now, let me take you through exactly how to find this unicorn of a nation. Right lads, uh, of course we're back with another of these uh, hidden nation things. This one's a little bit pernickety, but we'll get through it together, alright? Just, just keep watching, follow on screen. <laughs> I don't know why I'm patronizing you so much, but we'll get through it together. Alright, first things first, you gotta be playing as Saxony. Um, and then you gotta hope, basically. You rival Bohemia, and then you ally anyone who would also rival Bohemia. In this case, Hungary. Probably might do it as well, which means we can only pick one of them. Brilliant. Who else doesn't like you? Denmark, Hungary, Saxony. Denmark? Right, now it's vitally important you save your uh, admin points and dip points and everything else. Alright, so save that stuff. You're gonna need it. Furthermore, get rid of this fort. You're, you're not gonna need it. Well, you might do. But I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't like ports. But well, you do you. Alright, you instantly don't like me. Ah, that's fine. Right, I'm really banking on this Hungary thing then. Alright, I would uh, personally advise getting all the estates that give you more uh, points, right? So this lot. Do whatever the hell else you want. I, I'm not gonna hold you through this. Well, <laughs> actually, say in the intro I was gonna do that, so. <laughs> My bad. But just general estate stuff, I don't know what you would say. We might as well get some allies. Don't see why not. You're also gonna need a spy network. Uh, in Bohemia. Probably should have been building it this entire time, but we learned. S wants an alliance. Sure. I, I don't I don't care. Oh, right. Uh, then you have this event. Just deal with it by standing the capital and killing these guys. <laughs> it's easy enough. All right, we can get the alliance with Hungary. Ideally, you'd get Poland, not Hungary, because Poland's a lot more powerful. But we'll work on that in the meantime. All right, so now you need a, uh, a claim on a Czech province. Like this one. This is a Czech province. Get a claim on it. Pretty simple stuff so far. So if you're confused, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Ooh. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna switch alliances. Poland, because again, they're a lot stronger. They didn't. Wait, did they not get a? Hang on a second. Did they not? They. The one time. The one time they don't pick to have a Jagiellon. They, they do this. Brilliant. Basically, if Poland is in a personal union, obviously it's a lot better for you. In this case, they're not. In fact, Hungary has a, uh, a truce with Poland, so... With, um, not Poland, with, uh, Bohemia. So, we'll, we'll go with, we'll go with Poland, despite the fact they're a lot weaker. Right, so from here, you have one or two favours. This is actually the worst possible start. But this is good, because it, you know, shows you that even if you have the worst possible start, you can still do this. So the best possible start is that Poland, um, rivals Bohemia and takes... Lithuania as a junior partner. What's happened in this case is Poland hasn't and Lithuania hasn't. Meaning that they're unlikely to draw in a war against Bohemia. So you have two options at this point. You can either wait for favors or you can ally the Hungarians. But bear in mind, Hungary has a truce with, uh, with Bohemia until 49. So, you know. I think in the interest of time, I'm going to do the whole uh, switcheroo once more. And, and take back the Hungarians. Convince them it was a prank that I broke my alliance with them. Because it's probably going to be quicker to for the truce to, to, to end. So we're switching it up. Like I said, I'm just glad that the worst possible scenario happened because then I can show you that it could work either way. So this is, it's planned, why not? We'll go with planned. Oh, they're Hussite. <laughs> right, I'm gonna hire the free company right off the bat because we're gonna need them. Uh, I'm also gonna get the burger loans right off the bat because we're gonna need them. All right, we'll promise Hungary some land and uh, we'll go to war. It's handy that Brandenburg won't come in, so. <laughs> Take it. Ooh, that is, Kind of fortunate-ish. Now, the plan here is to take Rodri, right? So we just need this one. They're, they're medium already. If we just take this one province, we need 15. So we do need to take Prague. Oh, God, that's a lot of troops. Probably was a bad idea to <laughs> get rid of that fort, but it's fine. Okay, Hungary is deciding to fight over there. They're going to go liberate my capital. Oh, the Hungarians didn't doubt you for a second, mate. All right, minus seven. Come on. If I can get on 7%, that'd be amazing. All right, if I can get on 14%, that'd be amazing. If I can get on 28%, that'd be amazing. Oh, the Thuringians just stopped that siege from taking place. That is... These guys! Like I said, you're going to want to save your points. It's a, it's a good idea. 
Trust me. All right, we won the siege of Prague. Brilliant. We just won this province. We don't want anything else. We'll take the money. And, uh, war operations. We don't really care about annoying the Hungarians, I'll tell you that much. So we just want that. And they'll take it once you take Prague. So that's good. Then core it. Ability drop. That's actually a good thing for us. And I'll explain why in just a little bit. Uh, so I, I, I pulled another switcheroo on, uh, <laughs> on my allies. The Hungarians are going to betray me either way. Uh, it's just it's just for now. I'm going to get rid of this alliance afterwards. Because obviously, as my son, we do not want a strong Saxony. Right, don't take any stability. We want to be at minus one stability. We want to be kind of low for now. Meanwhile, the Byzantines are being taken out by the Genoese. <laughs> nice. And, oh god, France, why would you do that? And England really tearing, it's been 10 years, they are tearing through Ireland. But there goes us, and that's the most important thing. Now, make it a state, we core it, and then we move our capital here. Then we need to develop this province to have 20 development. Do that however which way you want. 20 development. From there, we promote it. Well, I say it. Check to being a accepted culture. We unstate our things in Saxony. Cultural shift and demote Saxon culture. Wait a month tick. Oh, this is a perfect event for us right now. Because right here, we have mice and separatists. For a second there, I thought it was noble rebels and I was a little bit concerned. But you want to drop your stability even further. Uh, so how do you do that more efficiently? Well, you go to your allies. You marry them. Then, a month later, you decide, actually, we want our daughter back, and we lose the stability. Really kind of weirded out as to why that's not the separatist sign, but whatever. Now, in a lot of these provinces, you're going to have uh, Anhalsian separatists in these three. Meissen only appears in this one. So, you need to be careful of that. We can easily get rid of the uh, Anhalsian separatists if they rise up first by raising the autonomy. Which I'll probably do in a little bit. But the only ones we really need to be concerned about are the Bohemian ones. So I'm going to raise my uh, army maintenance a little bit just to get some manpower back. And then we're right on track. I've, okay, the Genoese have taken Genoese Morea. I've genuinely never seen them do that. <laughs> good, good job, guys. <laughs> Trying to do their own weird thing. They don't want to be outdone by me. All right, I want to deal with this Bohemian Separatist first. You want to send you 100 ducats? No, thank you. Also, absolutely take tech. Because uh, that's going to transfer to Mycin when we when we form them, so <laughs> don't really want to be that much of a disadvantage. So definitely form tech when you can. Form tech? Definitely even get tech. Oh my god, I'm frazzled. Augsburgian separatists decided to kill themselves. Good job, guys. Good job. So you'll see the Mycin separatists have just ticked up to 50%, which means that we can do this. Vogue revolt. So they have 11,000 troops just there. Just as our new ruler comes into power. And now you'll see that Meissen has a cool province here. Right, so now march in and kill the uh, rebels. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> and you got your province back. I'm not close to tech, so I am just going to dump all my points into, into this province. It's at this point you want to start ruining Saxony as a nation if you'd like to make your life a little bit easier. Right, so in this case, any ally... I need to get rid of and any potential ally as well and okay, no one oh hang on 11 people good ally in. i can't be able to go through the entire list but for example what you could do is this and then you go send an insult scorn for an insult and scornfully insult them but also something easy you can do is take out a loan and declare bankruptcy at which point head over here and create yourself mycin and play as the release subject we are now playing is the nation of Mycin, which has a really cool color. All right, I'll show you the ideas and such in just a moment. Um, I just want to point out that you can't get support independence uh, for, the, uh, well, for the duration of the truce, basically, which is five years, which is also how long that they're bankrupt for. Well, you bankrupt them to make sure they don't have any allies and to try and just screw them over as much as possible. Whilst we wait, let's have a look around the world. And is that Paris has been occupied by Burgundy. Okay. You're fighting Cyprus and... <laughs> Epirus in your capital got occupied. Come on, man. You're better than that. Yep, we really lucked out with this ruler. He's a 1-1-2. One, one, Is he at least a good general? No. <laughs> why would he be? All right, and we're at war against 
behavior. Which is actually really bad for us because it means that the Brandenburgers are going to have uh, a truce. So we are just going to march our troops over here and wait for it to end. Beringia, we're going to we're gonna die in this place, you and I. Hey, Bohemia, could you just leave us alone? No, you're going to see more problems anyway? Cool. We're disloyal. We don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to fight this. All right, well, there's that war done. Looks like they gave Wittenberg to Brandenburg. I also think they might have pillaged my capital. <laughs> Great. But our truce is over with, uh, with Saxony. Now, we have a choice. We can either ally the Thuringians and fight them, and fight the Saxons with them, which, eh, I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of want to take the stuff, but it is the HRE after all. No one would support my independence, so I'm going to have to do this on my own. I don't know if I want to, I kind of want to just take your stuff, Thuringia. I don't, I don't know about you. I do know you're offering me an alliance, but I don't want the alliance right now. Let me see if we can get a better leader than uh, Conrad. I can, excellent. Thuringia, are you disloyal? You are disloyal. Why would you kill yourself like this? For him. He did nothing for you. God, this is bleeding me dry. I was about to fight that and I realized I've taken Magdeburg. Why would I do that? Those are neon green. Uh, Magdeburg, buddy, you've cost me a lot of money. All right, we've lost a lot of manpower in this war. Uh, it's also unnecessary for us to keep this advisor around because we are hemorrhaging money. Yeah, if you want a much easier war, then just ally Thuringia. Because the second you push into their territory, they're, they're going to help the Saxons fight you. Please don't take that before we get there, please. Excellent. There we go. And Hess is going to start taking the land back, but I'm not going to get too far. Can I stack white without Hess getting involved? Hess obviously has to get involved. Not Hess, Thuringia, you bastards. But we have 96%, so we can take whatever we want. Obviously, coalition. If we take all this stuff, we can take it, but we are in the HRE. But you kind of want to start bordering some other nations. So I'm going to take this stuff, all of the money in the world. There's not really much point in doing anything else, but maybe pillaging the capital. That, no, don't pillage the capital. Terrible idea. Excellent. Yeah, so that, I think that's how to form Mycen, really, or Mycen, or however. They've got a really cool flag. And I, I, I've never seen this nation in game. I've never seen all the other nations I've covered. I, I see them spawn occasionally. Or I've seen them at different start dates or, or something like that. I've never seen Mycen ever. In terms of their missions, they have a basic mission tree. Um, obviously, they have the Imperial Ambition one as well. Ideas, they've got standard German ideas, which inherently aren't bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. And obviously, with that, they can form German nation. They can form Saxony, which I don't know why you would form Saxony, considering you go to such troubles to actually form Mycin to then form Saxony doesn't make sense, but you could do like a Mycin into Prussia campaign or something like that into Germany. All that stuff's fun, and obviously as a new nation you start with Amnia Max Crownland, so that's always fun. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is Mycin in a nutshell for you. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you would not mind liking and subscribing from this video, that would be amazing. It does help us out a lot. If you have any other suggestions for nations that you'd like to see, or weird quirks, or you just generally want to see more strange stuff in the game, do let me know, and I'll be happy to oblige. In any case, until next time, goodbye.